What's up, YouTube? Brickster1991 today, here reviewing the LEGO Set 60264 LEGO City Ocean Explorate. Oh, looks like we might have a problem here. Hey! And we're back today with uh, Lego set number 60264, Lego City Exploration. 286 pieces, retails for $30 to $40. I think I got mine for uh, under 19 Comes with uh, four of these little Lego minifigs. You got uh, this diver lady he here with a, uh, this, this diving helmet. I also used as an astronaut helmet later in other uh, sets from Lego City. I got these little uh, light guys that can swivel around on her top. Uh, she's got those little light in her hand. Uh, a new uh, version of the, uh, the classic space metal detector piece. Got no stud on top. I remember having one of these as a kid. Um, pop that open. Pull her helmet off. Uh, take a nice look at her uh, printing on that chest. That looks pretty nice. On the back, she's got an alternate face there with a uh, little... Uh, Grimace and a little bit of a, you know, one eye closed. Put that back on her. Another look at uh, diver number two. He comes with the same helmet piece with the, uh, you know, lights that can go up and down. Uh, he's got this little thing with a uh, little tech panel there. Uh, a, uh, a camera with a uh, little dish thingy and a stamp piece to make a, uh, a flash hood so that's pretty nice uh, he too he has the same uh, printing on most of his body but he has an alternate print on his face Let me see. You can take a look at that take a look at that that's good all right and on to the guys that normally sit inside the uh, mini sub we've got the uh, pilot guy decked out in a dark red uh, sweatshirt here nice bit of printing on that sweatshirt. Don't know if you can see that in low light here. Uh, he's got this grimace on his face. No alternate printing on the back, but he does have a uh, hood for his sweatshirt uh, printed on the back of his torso. Gray hands, uh, light uh, medium gray legs. I'm not sure what the official terminology is. Um, we got the uh, other minifig. Got a sash around her around her body the zippers uh, picked out in nice bright silver there printing on the legs with nice little pockets there uh, got some more uh, the pouch on the back zippers printed uh, picked out in silver some little tassels I'm not sure if you can pick yep you can pick those up there nice nice she's got a little headband printed on her head much like um, Batman does I actually think this might be a uh, a Catwoman uh, face, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, no alternate prints. Uh, onto the mini sub. 
got four of these little guys on the top that can swivel 360 degrees. These guys can spin. Uh, you got these little guys on the top there, a little st a bunch of stickers here, here, uh, here, and also one back here. A little a caution, you wouldn't want to get or get hurt back here. Uh, little guys right here, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, but yeah. The spoiler parts being used as a, um, whatever that is. The uh, little clamps that can open and shut and hold stuff. Uh, can also swivel outwards and up and down and all that goodness. Uh, the top does come off so you can it's real easy. You see you can put your uh, mini minifigs in there. Put the pilot guy right there. Oh, well, I'm going to have to move his little arms like so. Look at that. He sits right, at, right in there nicely. And the scientist, uh, marine biologist lady, she can she can kind of be right back here, but there's nowhere for her to plug into, so she just sits right in there. It's a little panel in there, got a little um, a little radar there. She can sit right in there and monitor the radar, or or, or look out the sides of the windows. Ooh, look at that, fishies! When I p picked this up, I originally thought there were only three mini figs because. In the package art, she's actually hidden in the back here. We can close that that back up. Put the top back on. And onto the uh, rock formation. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the little ROV. Got these little uh, little propellers here that can spin. Spinny, spinny, spin. You got a little hatch in here. You can put uh, small items in here. Obviously, this crab's not going to fit. He's going to go right over here on the the uh, thing there uh, and, and also these little um, ratchet clips here can fit into these little red red clips right here and boom it can be part of the uh, mini sub pretty nice on the uh, rock formation we got the uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, little anglerfish gut piece here uh, uh, it does glow, but unfortunately I can't show that feature off. Maybe I can. No, no, not really. Uh, I got a couple of these little uh, trans bright green uh, crystal pieces here. Oh, this one's hidden by a, by a coral right there and right there. Uh, these coral guys here and here and also here. That's pretty nice. A little crab up here hanging out on top of the... Of this rock, uh, a bunch of these little flower, uh, sand blue. Uh, I, I I know that I know this color is sand green. I'm not sure what this color is. If anyone wants to b mention in the comments, great. A uh, lot, lot of neat little little colors in this: dark gray, uh, light gray, uh, sand green. Uh, this. Te this bright teal, whatever this is, this the teal for the corals. That's pretty nice. And I can put one of these little crystal guys inside that ROV, but I'm just gonna leave that right where it was. Uh, is it worth it for uh, the thirty to forty bucks? Uh, maybe not. Yes. Uh, I know. I know. I was happy to get it for under thirty when I got it for uh, on clearance. But overall, pretty nice set. If you have a bunch of underwater uh, setups, I don't. But I, my, my first Lego, one of my first two Lego sets was uh, a sub, a mini subset. Uh, this has been an, another uh, set review by Brickstore1991. Thanks for watching.